Okay, some people are here at 6.30, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm Brian Sivaking. I'm the adjunct curator of folk and outsider art here, which Motovici kind of falls into that category, although not really. Um, I've been asked first to announce that we have had to cancel the hip-hop dance-off with me, where I was going to take all comments because of my injury. But I told Brian Cunahan we would do that again next year. But in the meantime, it is my pleasure to very briefly, I promise, introduce Motomichi Nakamura, who has graciously come here from Quito, Ecuador, to share not only the animations and the paintings and the plush monsters and the vinyl creatures that are upstairs, but also to do a um, video jockey mix of music and animation tonight. Uh, Motomichi was born in Japan and then came to the United States to go to college at Parsons and while in New York building his career, becoming very well known as an animator, he met and fell in love with a woman from Ecuador. So after a certain time, they, they moved to Quito to make a life and raise kids, which apparently is easier in Quito than New York City. <laughs> so he is an animator, he is a painter, he is a video game designer, he is a designer of fabulous plush monsters. He really is sort of a jack of all trades, and he really does represent a sort of new international wave of artists who aren't necessarily willing to be categorized as painters or sculptors or filmmakers and only stay inside of those, those narrow kind of margins. So, as I said, if you've got questions after the performance, I'll be happy to answer them. Moto Michi is quite approachable and we'll be happy to answer them. But for now, it's my pleasure to introduce Moto Michi Mano.
Um, you mean like in general? Yeah. Do you do, do you do it the same every time or do you change it up? Uh, no, it's different. Um, this set, uh, I performed once, but the thing is every time it's, it's different. It's, it's, it's just a layers of things that, that, I, that I mix. But uh, as a VJ, I've been doing that maybe six, seven years, maybe. But I don't perform that much, maybe like a couple times a year, so. So do you make it, do you make it up before you perform? The, uh, it's kind of like a DJ in a way that I have, I create set for each, each performance. And um, just I have like backup and also just organ, it's like a folders that I have. And then just kind of switch back and forth. No, no, I work with the, um, musicians. Uh, in this one, I work with a um, friend of mine, uh, Otto von Schirach. Uh, sometimes I perform with the uh, musician live, but that's always not the, the case in a way. Sometimes it's just difficult because of the schedule and budget and all that stuff. But, uh, yes? Sorry? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. What makes you think, like, think of that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Which stuff? <laughs> uh, the, well, the, um, the, the reason I decided to uh, uh, perform was the, um, the, the sort of like, um, I wanted to, I was interested in creating, creating um, the intensity. And then uh, 
I mean, you can obviously do that if you paint, you know, if you animate. But the thing is that the, also the, the fact that, that you also share that intensity with the group of people also makes it a lot more realistic in a way. And then uh, I just thought that live performance is just the, the, the way that I thought that I could get there uh, the, as quick as possible. And also I'll have some control over. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, just as anybody else, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get inspired by a lot of things. But let's say music is definitely uh, what I like. Um, I like um, music which has very um, like heavy beats. Uh, having said that, um, I like uh, something like 80s hip hop. Uh, like a gangster hip hop, <laughs> NWA. Okay, but the thing is, that, yeah, yeah. But the thing is this: um, the something like that. I, I, I just find it very like raw. You know, it's just very simple beat, and they will just layer it. You know, they start with the beat, and they start rapping, rapping, and then just elaborates, and then that kind of thing. That's I really like. Yeah. Uh, well, <clears throat> like many times I make visuals completely separate from the music that I work with. Um, it's just something, like what I'm interested in is just more of this, more of like abstract feeling. Um, so it's not necessary that you need to work with that music, which I have to, I'm going to use, you know what I mean? You, if I if I like to that? No, you have to use, with, do you ever just have this type of situation where actually instead of sitting and watching people dance? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, when I perform with the musician live, yes, the, I mean, this, when I perform with the live musicians, it's much, much longer. Um, it's so, sort of like, I will lose control uh, in a way that I cannot make it so accurately. But at the same time, the, the, with the live musicians, and it's just not more. You know, it just goes much longer at the same time. People can dance, and yeah, it's, it's, it's flexible that way. Do you mind giving up control when you work with other um, musicians? I mean, it seems like. So. You mean like when I perform with the. Uh, what the musicians? I mean, which do you prefer? Or is it just two different experiences? Uh, actually, I mean, I like both. The, um, the, the way when I perform with the, uh, the live musicians, that in a way that the, I, I, in a way I put myself as sort of like a sidekick, like you know Batman Robin. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's just because um, the music is, is just so strong and so instant that I haven't the just personally I just haven't really found a way to just react and just that fast. And, and in a way that music, music it just gets there so quick that so when I perform the live musicians, I'll basically like, sort of like take his lead. Uh, I mean, when we work, we will just have some kind of like agreement. Like, okay, so we start like this and then we'll just go like that. But once it starts, so I'll just, you know, just let him handle and then I'll just follow up. Um, yeah, this, um, is it, okay, it's a little bit long explanation, <laughs> but, uh, okay, it, um, in short, basically, I, um, I like to keep things very, like, simple, and then the, the process that I took is that the simpler that it gets, the stronger the message gets, so that was the principal idea behind, and then uh, it was not necessary just about the animation, it was just, in general, my graphics and my visuals that I chose to just use three colors. Yes? Your, your figure that has um, all the little holes around the mouth, any significance? A hole though? You have a hole the holes around here that will flash the eyes for figures that have the multi holes around the mouth. Uh, the, I use these elements. It's sort of like a symbolic um, thing. But the thing is that um, uh, the one of, my, the, one of the main themes in my work is 
about fear. And then, and that, uh, and also anger, and that sort of things that the, the not darker side, but that's the other side of, you know. But, but the, the, what I'm interested in is sort of like purity of that, the feeling, is sort of like instinct. And then uh, the, the, when I was the, working on that, the, the, one of the things that the, you know, we mammals, the animals do, is to show teeth, to show the aggression. Sometimes it's out of fear. And then uh, the, I got the idea that I used to have a puppy, and then I was just playing around, and he got really scared. And it was like, the puppy was like three or four months old. And then he, when he was cornered, not like I meant to do it, but it was just like that. And then, uh, and then he, he took a teeth out like that. And then that completely like, stopped me. And I was just, it's amazing that that's the common language that just you show it once and then you just get the message that he's desperate. Uh, uh, he's, he's feeling fear at the same time, he's aggressive. So that sort of like thing, I, that's why I use also eyes and you know, teeth and stuff like that. that I, it had, these things have meaning to me. Yeah. Huh? How was uh, learning? How that was like uh, working for the knife, and uh, also the how uh, how was it? Yeah. How was it? Uh, the um, the the funny thing, the uh, she, the two uh, sister, brother and sister, no? Yeah. And then Karen emailed me and said that uh, the me and my brother do like electro pop, and we live in like like in the mountain or whatever. And it's like we want to release the, the album. The, the single, so we like your work, so we need to work on it. And I actually had no idea who they are. Uh, I mean, also, they, they weren't known in the States either. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the first thing you do these days is Google. And then, so I was like, okay, the knife. <laughs> and then uh, I got the, just a whole bunch of the knife, you know, like survival knife and all the knife. And just, uh, I actually didn't even see it. And as I was just, just like, too many just knives and uh, and then it's like, oh yeah, I mean, uh, thank you. And then it's just, well, uh, can you just please send me the, the, the truck? And then I'll listen, and then we'll see. And then, and then uh, they send the truck, and then the, I haven't worked with that, that type of music, but I really liked it. And then she explained to me what the truck is about. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, okay, so, and then everything worked out, you know, like schedule and all that stuff. So, okay, so, so I'm in. And then uh, after that, uh, okay, so I'm going to have my manager contact you. I was like, oh, okay, you have a manager. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then from there, just, we just worked. Um, I mean, and then the, I actually didn't show, almost, I didn't show the work until almost the, the last minute because I didn't want them to like just before it finishes. And then, um, so it almost actually, we didn't, the only changes that we made was the very last part where the, the bird has the head on the, the beak. And then uh, the, she asked me to extend it like two seconds or something like that, and that's it, that was it. Yeah, so it was, I was like, oh, you know. Right. She emailed, how oh, we like it? And he said, oh, by the way, I have some changes. Like, oh, and she's like, can you extend it? He's like, yeah, of course. So I just stretched that in, you know, in After Effects, and it was done. <laughs> yeah, we good? Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming.